Are you okay? Uh, I'll be fine, thanks. Get me to the quarantine area. I can help you save the other scientists from there. These robots look like they want to eat me for lunch. They've been programmed to defend us against cross species. Which, I guess you technically are. So, yeah. Watch out, Pete. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh, no. Don't worry, Blake. Get you out of here. Oh, it's not working. It's not me. Maybe you can web swing across. If these things get out of Oscorp. I don't want to think about what ifs right now. Find another way. Great! Oscorp security system. Quarantine's on the other side. Stay here, Gwen. I'll come back to get you.
you like me now? Okay, Gwen. I'm getting you to safety. Thanks, Pete. I need to get the others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask. What's gonna happen? To you? I don't know, but it's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But... But what about the antidote? If it worked before... Th Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved, mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped, but even if they are, there's, there's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. I got him and the other scientists to the quarantine, but they're all infected. And the cross species, where are they? I tried 